Iowa Wesleyan University will be closing their doors at the end of this academic year. This comes after the university's Board of Trustees unanimous vote earlier today. According to the university, the decision was because of financial challenges like increased operating costs, a significant drop in donations, and the rejection of a federal COVID funding proposal made by Governor Reynolds. According to university officials, Iowa Wesleyan submitted a proposal for $12 million in ARPA funds from Governor Kim Reynolds that was never approved. When the university closes on May 31st, the campus will become the responsibility of the Department of Agriculture. In an email to staff, the president and board of trustees chair said President Plunkett and her leadership team will work closely with faculty and staff as the university prepares for closure. Several meetings will be held over the next week so everyone can develop a plan to secure new employment. Governor Reynolds released a statement saying, quote, it wasn't until February 3rd of 2023 that my office received a request from the university for $12 million in ongoing operating costs. As I've said many times, we endeavor not to spend one-time federal dollars on ongoing expenses. Based on this and other factors, an independent accounting firm determined that providing one-time federal funds would not solve the systemic financial issues plaguing the university.